praise god i thanks to our lord jesus christ to give me opportunity to host my wonderful guest all the way from united states today i am really excited to welcome my guest so before uh, doing anything main ek guzarish karna chahta hu let me speak in urdu uh, so main guzarish karna chahta hu jitne bhi bad bhai is waqt around the globe se dekh rahe hain puri duniya se dekh rahe hain you can share this broadcast in groups because uh, tonight really amazing night in asia india nepal bangladesh pakistan and around the globe united states wow amazing today uh, you have great opportunity to listen the word of god hear the word of god word of god is going to change you time is your so aaj main welcome kehta hu welcome kehta hu tamam tar ban bhaiyon ko aur main wait kiye bagair main welcome kehna chahta hu apni guest ko a bishop landa all the way from uh, united states uh, let me welcome my guest praise god praise god let me welcome my guest bishop landa all the way from united states god bless you woman of god once again uh, we are really excited because you joining again uh, on our uh, show really amazing show because people really excited to see you again and welcome you again and we really happy to see you woman of god once again i uh, love you thank you god bless you so much god bless yes. you and people of pakistan india nepal bangladesh uh, really uh, people just happy to see you and around the globe uh, europe and uh, america uh, definitely america and united states wow amazing god bless you all nations we love you people and god uh, bless you so much we love you so women of god um, welcome you what would you like to say well i want to say uh it's a blessing to be here with you and i want to say to everybody hello and god bless you from the us of a <laughs> and god bless you pastor daniel for inviting me again uh you were on my mind and i know that was the lord because we have got connection Yeah yeah we uh, are really uh, excited to see you prayer tv really reaching the unreached in pakistan and india nepal bangladesh and around the globe as uh, 67 countries we just reaching many peoples many thousands uh, souls are going to saved uh, tonight in uh, asia time standard time and the united states time you know that united states time Uh, yeah. I think what is time now? What time is it? What's time now? Uh the time is um 5 at the 12. Yeah, women women of God people really excited to know about you because already people know about you uh on our uh pay TV uh, uh page, a social media page and uh, a YouTube page and uh channel and you are uh, just uh, going to sh- uh, share the word of god i believe uh, yes. i just uh, claim that blessings in my heart i am yes. going to receive praise god amen i am going to receive it amazing words boom and of god so um, so what would you like to educate us yes boom and of god well today i'm talking about trust in the lord and uh um stand no matter what the opposition and so uh i'm here to encourage the children of god today around the world praise god because we have been going through so many many things praise god and and uh uh from one thing to the next but the lord is good and he is blessing and he is opening doors that no man can close praise god i'm going to uh, just say a word of prayer before i start teaching gracious heavenly father we just thank you for blessing thank you you that are coming in with comments god bless you father god in the name of jesus i pray that you give me what to give your people in the name of jesus touch every heart strengthen every heart in the name of jesus and those that need healing lord jesus we know 
that you are the healer and there's nothing that you cannot do for you are able you are able to give us the victory in jesus name let somebody be touched healed and delivered and let someone accept you accept you and and become a born again christian today and we thank you in jesus name amen and amen 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 for if there's ever time that we need to trust in the lord it is today um note the word worry you know because a lot of people are worrying today uh pastor daniel they're worrying because of no food they're going through and and uh this the society is so messed up today all kind of things are happening but the word worry is not found one single time in the entire king james version of the bible while the word trust is used 134 times praise god so the mm. word worries is because the lord don't want us to worry he want us to trust in him we that have a relationship with the father know that we know that we know that he is able we are trusting in him to give us the victory, to give us miracles, to give us healing. Praise God. Don't be afraid of the coronavirus. Just trust that Jesus is going to heal your body. He is a healer. The Bible says by his stripes, we were healed. That means past tense. Over 2,000 years ago, we were healed heal praise god praise you jesus that means he is yet healing today he is yet saving today he is yet delivering today and whatever you need i'm here to tell you that whatever you need all you got to do is trust in the lord the in uh the book of proverbs uh three and five and six, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. That's what the word says. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. So sometimes you put your focus on what you see in front of you and you're trying to understand why you haven't came out victorious. But the thing of it is, he says, and lean not to thine own understanding. So don't lean on what you think should be, but lean on what you know that you know that God is able to do for you. It may you may be going through one way, but the Lord is able to turn it around. Praise yeah. Jesus. He is able to turn it around and give you the victory. Praise God. I'm excited about my Jesus. I'm excited about what I know that he is able to do. I'm excited about what he is going to do. No matter what you're going through right now, the Lord is going to turn it around. I want you to start decreeing and declaring in the name of Jesus that you have the victory. We have the victory. The victory is in Jesus. Victory is in Jesus. Praise God. And we're standing on that. And so he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, with all your heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And then the sixth verse says, and all in all thy ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge him, and he shall do what? Direct thy path. That's when we begin to stand on his word. Don't stand on what you're going through, but stand on his word. Stand on what he is able to bring you out of. Stand on God will overturn and give you miracle after miracle after miracle. Praise God and give you victory. All you got to do is trust and know that he is able to do it. Trust in the Lord. That's what the Lord laid on my heart this morning as I was praying, Lord Jesus, what you want me to say? Because it's so important to me to speak the word that the Whoa. Lord be for you. Praise you, Jesus. And he said, trust. He want his people to trust. He want his children to trust in him. Praise God. No matter what you're going through, know that God got your back i was talking to a young lady on yesterday and and she was mm. talking about how that when her job had let her go and how that she began to go through so much when the job let her go and 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 then her um and then she had an accident in her car and and uh the job took back the the um 
some money that they owed her. They took it back. And she said, she just told them, she said, yes, God bless you. Go ahead and keep that. But God bless you. She didn't put them down or anything. She said, just God bless you. And the, and the Lord began to make a way out of no way for her. I said, you know what? I said, the Lord wanted you to trust him. He didn't want you to see your circumstance. See, a lot of times people are looking at their circumstance and look at what they don't have. They wake up in the morning and, and having a pity party. You got to tell pity, no more party here. And you got to rise up and say, the Lord is going to make a way out of no way. The Lord is going to open up a new door. The old doors may have closed, but that's because God closed the old doors because he got some blessings in your new doors. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Praise, Praise God. He got Praise some God. new blessings, but all he wants us to do is stand on his word. Stand on his word. Trust. Stand on his word. Trust. Lord Jesus, I trust in you. I know that you're able. There was a time that a lady, that that was this lady, she uh, came home from church. And when she came home from church, turned on the lights, went in her room and fell on her knees and began to pray. And she had just left church and, and she was <coughs> and crying out to the Lord. And, yeah. and, uh, and this big burly man came out from under her bed and he began to cry. He said, I came here to rape you. To, to to kill you. He said, but you was praying so. He said, uh, he said, I just asked you to forgive me. So when the devil set you up to destroy you, God got a way out to give you the victory. Oh, praise you, Jesus. And, uh, and she led that man to the Lord and he accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. He come there to do one thing, but the Lord Jesus overturned it and turned it around. What am I saying to you today? Your situation may look hard, may look bad, may look narrow, but Jesus, oh, praise you, Jesus. He is going to turn it around. He's going to turn it around for you. He's going to give you the victory. He's going to give you a praise in your heart. Just keep on rejoicing in the Lord. Just keep on praising his name. The joy of the Lord is your strength. That's where you get strength from. You know, when you wake up in the morning, just start rejoicing in him. Start praising him. Get up and start praising him. Don't get up depressed and oppressed, but get up praising him and say, the Lord got this. He got my situation. He got my problem. He going to bring me out. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's going to bring you out. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do for all. Hallelujah. Us. Glory to God. Amen, Pastor. Praise God. Praise God. The word trust Hallelujah. means faith. Trust means faith. Having faith in God. Trust means belief. I believe in the Almighty. Trust means, listen to this, trust means hope. I have hope against hope. Because of Jesus, we have hope. Trust means confidence. I have confidence in the God that I serve. Praise God. So when you trust in him, that means you have confidence. People wonder why you smiling. They're going to be wondering, why is she smiling? Why he's smiling? I know they're going through, but they don't know that you're walking in confidence. You have confidence in Jesus. Dependence. Trust means dependence, meaning that you're not depending on on yourself but you're pending depending on the almighty you're depending on the lord to bring you out of your situation here's another uh a meaning for trust is rely on i rely on god almighty praise god to give me a miracle I rely on the Lord to heal, deliver, and set free. I rely on the Lord to take in control every situation in my life. That's what you got to say. That's what you got to believe. That's what you got to walk in as a born-again Christian. Amen. Amen. What about? Okay, stand. No matter what the opposition. Daniel 6. Daniel stood. Daniel stood. They set him up to be thrown in the lion's den. Daniel would pray three times a day 
hold on to your salvation. Daniel was mm. three times a day. And then uh, when the king signed the petition, Daniel would not stop praying. Three times a day, he continued to pray. So they went and told the king that Daniel was praying. And you signed a petition that no one was supposed to uh, admonish or call on their God. Daniel was praying. What are you going to do about it, king? So Daniel had to go to the lion's den. And the king even trusted, understand this, the king even trusted that the God that Daniel served was going to give him a miracle. Oh, praise God. Praise you, Jesus. He had to keep his word because he was the king, but he knew that God Almighty was going to bring Daniel out. Praise God. He said, Daniel, Daniel is the God that you serve, the mighty God. <laughs> oh, praise oh, God. Mighty God. See, and mighty. that's what people are thinking about you. They're saying about you. She's trusting in the mighty God. He's trusting in the mighty God. I know he's going to come out. Even the sinners looking at your life and watching your life and know that they know that they know that you are the born again Christian. I'm excited about this here. The God that I serve, he is able. And you know what? Daniel used those lions for a bed and a pillow. And he slept good that night. And then when the, the king came down, Daniel, did the God you serve deliver you? Daniel said, yes. Daniel, come on up out of there. Praise God. Maybe Praise some of you are in your lion's den, but you're coming out victorious. The Lord has shut the lion's mouth. Yes. And you're coming out because you're yet trusting in God. Oh, praise you, Jesus. That's right, Tanya. Tanya. That's right. Praise him. He is the awesome God. Okay, where am I? All right. Um, okay, Daniel was put in the lion's den, but he remained faithful in his trusting the Lord. All right, hold. Hold means to, okay, proper in the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, it says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Hold fast that which is good. Hold fast to the God of your salvation. Hold fast to your faith. Hold fast. There's so much you can get out of hold. Hold means grip, possess, cling to, embrace. Hold fast. Amen. And then, um, praise God. Let me see. I'm looking at this. Okay. So trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shalt be fed. Look at this. God got in this passage of scripture right here. The Lord have all of our situation. All of our situations is covered. In this passage of scripture, where he said, trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell. Now, now notice he says, and do good. And now that's the key, do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. That is the word trust again. Commit thy way. Commit your way. Live a righteous life. Commit your way, do good, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalms 37, 3 and, 3 and 5. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respect it and not, and not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. So you got to be faithful. You got to be faithful and you got to hold on and you got to trust in him. Amen. God bless you. God bless you as well. All right. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. He have not given us the spirit of fear. Amen but of power and love and of a sound mind. So that's what the Lord wants you to have, power and love and of a sound mind. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. So he wants you to trust in him. I have a, just a 
few more scriptures to read to uh to you uh to edify this word uh in the book of isaiah 41 10 it says fear thou not fear thou not for i am with thee he is with thee so what is he what is he saying sister sherelle he is saying fear thou not what's going on in our day and time fear not fear thou not the pand pandemic fear thou not uh uh cancer and sicknesses and diseases fear thou not not having finances the lord will send somebody to give you a miracle he will touch somebody hot to open doors and bless you somebody got your blessing in their hand somebody god have already dealt with to be your help praise you jesus all right so he said fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help thee yea i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness yes yes okay psalms 91 and i mean first peter i'm sorry first peter 5 and 7 casting all your cares upon him for he what he careth for you he cares for you you think he don't care for you he cares for you he love you he cares for your situation that you're in right now. He cares. You say, do he hear my voice? Yes. He hear your prayers. He hear your prayers when you call on his name. And he cares. Casting all your cares on him, upon him, for he cared for you. Psalm 91, 116. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty he that dwell it stay in the secret place stay in your relationship with the father first john 4 and 18 this is the last one there is no fear in love but perfect love cast it out fear because fear had torment he that fear it is not made perfect in love so you gotta if you start walking around in fear you gotta find out who it is that you need to start loving because it's somebody you you didn't stop loving. So <laughs> perfect love. Amen. Praise God. Well, I'm done. I want to encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall positively, he shall direct your path. I'm going to tell so you. Back. Know, yeah. Let me ask you something because uh, you uh, talk about uh, trust and uh, you know that uh, today people really uh, just uh, distract uh, from uh, trust to our Lord Jesus Christ because they just uh, uh, isolate from uh, from uh, from from churches, you know that, and from prayers and uh, from services. So um, uh, you know that uh, there is uh, some reason. Uh, you know that uh, one of the uh, most famous reason COVID nineteen. So what what would you like to say uh, about uh, coronavirus and uh, you know that uh, people just uh, in fear and uh, they just in a church uh, they just in house uh, still home they. Uh, and just, they're just uh, like, like waiting, you waiting for the right time. Yes. Go yes. Ahead. Like, like you say, man of God, they many people are just in fear. And that's why I really put that scripture in there because God has not given us the spirit of fear. We must trust to our Lord. Yes. We, we must remain trusting in God and knowing yes. that He's the one that's wow. going to take care of us. He let us know that he's going to take care of us. But fear is of the devil. God didn't give you that the spirit of fear. You, you know where the Lord has brought you from. Many of you that are uh, listening to me right now, you have been through much. Some of you have been through some grave things, some big things. And the Lord yeah. have brought you out. He have always brought you out and have given you the victory. That is what you stand on. Stand on the fact that the same God, even though a pandemic is out, even though people are dying, 
and you begin to look in that mirror and say, I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. I'm trusting in him and I'm standing on his word. I oh. will no longer I will no longer oh. God, oh. Thank you. Glory to our Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise oh, you, Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Wow. wow. So, man of God, you know that people really need uh, this, uh, this uh, word of God because you know that Really, you just encouraging people uh, to accept Jesus Christ uh, to personal savior. You know that people must need to know about Jesus. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what would you like to say more about a trust and time? Now is going. Yes. Well, I want to say about this pandemic that this too shall pass. In 1918, it was the Spanish flu. And um, and it lasted three years. And, and God brought the people out and gave them the victory, brought them out. And everything came back to normal. So just the way that the Lord brought the people out in 1918, He's going to bring us out today. He's going to bring us out. We will be back in our churches. We will be back in our churches worshiping. But while you're at home, while you're watching online, church online, worship and pray, and even develop your prayer life more. Begin to spend more time with the Lord and pray. Because remember, who, who are we? We are the children of the Most High God. And you, and you know, remember when the children of Israel was in Egypt and the Lord told them they had to go in their houses, close the doors. It come a time that you got to stay in for a season. But during the season, this is the time for the Lord to speak to us, to speak to you and tell you what he wants you to do and speak to you. Praise you, Jesus. Many of you are. Uh, 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 those that are uh, soul winners and you must begin to go back to winning souls. And I want to say the, the ones that are on here that are not born again, but you're just listening. You're looking for peace. You're looking for a direction. Jesus is your answer. Jesus is your answer. He is the only answer. Oh, praise God. He is the only answer. So all you got to do is just trust in him and ask him to come into your heart. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for all of my sins. I'm sorry. From this day forward, you are Lord over my life. He is the only, if you don't remember nothing else Sister Sherelle said today, remember that he is the only way. Praise God. All right, Pastor. Uh, Daniel. Yes, yes, he is only way to heaven. So uh, today we have uh, many peoples uh, around the globe. Uh, people just uh, uh, living in uh, relationship. You know that people just uh, disturbing from uh, disturb from relationships. But uh, you know that uh, uh, I, I want to introduce uh, one and only relationship with God. Yeah. Really, that uh, amazing relationship with God um, cannot end, I believe. So, yeah. our, our Lord is always with us, and um, I just uh, thanks to our Lord uh, for giving the opportunity to host you, woman of God. Really, uh, you are blessed, woman of God. So, we have lots of uh, prayer requests if you. Uh, like to pray for people, then uh, definitely yes. I will show on yes. screen. Uh, so you want? I'm ready. You got to call their name, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, Bishop Landa, with me all the way from United States. She's humble woman of God, really amazing, and we have prayer request. Yeah, kitchen. Uh, from India, 
God bless you, sister and brother G. Wow, wow. Brother. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Your, your name is in first row. You can check out. God bless you. Well, and who we have here? Yeah, we have a prayer request to Ocean, Ocean uh, Singh, all the way from uh, India. Uh -huh. uh, she, she's saying, uh, Pastor G, mere liye prayer, uh, kariye sister G se. Okay, uh, she asking, please uh, pray for me and for my family. Uh, she asking to you. Okay. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you touch her right now. I pray that you touch her family in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, keep them safe and keep them healed in the name of Jesus. I speak total victory over their lives. Meet every need, Jesus. Open doors that no man could close. I speak victory. I decree and declare and call it done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God amen, you. amen, amen. Praise God. So let me pick up. Uh, she's from Pakistan, Annie Ruby from Pakistan. Yeah, welcome, uh, sister, my sister. Uh, so Mukaddas G, uh, she is from, I think, uh, I don't know correctly, but she is from, uh, from Pakistan, I think. Uh, please pray for me. I am very upset. Please, Sir G. Well, I'm so, a woman of God, she is very upset. Uh, so, uh, sister, kindly you can uh, write your uh, write your problem, uh, what's happening with you, your purpose. Uh, but otherwise, my sister is going to pray for you. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, you know what have her upset, but we know that you're the able God. I pray right now that you lift a heart right now. Touch, Lord, and strengthen and encourage right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you bring peace over her right now. Whatever the problem, whatever caused her to be upset, we bind it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said whatsoever we bound down here, you bound it in heaven. In Jesus' name, and we call it done. Amen. And amen. Amen, amen, amen. So amen. we have another prayer request, Shanti from India. Yeah. She yeah. says, uh, please pray for my life and my marriage, good life partner and family, good health. Prayer, pastor. Okay. Father yeah. God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Shanti. I pray, Father, that you touch her in the name of Jesus for her life, for her every situation, uh, for for marriage, she's not married, right? It says, yeah, yeah, she, she, life. She "Good life uh, partner." Marriage, good life partner. I think she wants a good life, a life partner. She's Lord, going to marry with, in her future. You know that. Bless her with a good life partner, good husband. In the name of Jesus, I pray for her family. I speak good health over their lives. In the name of Jesus, touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Every desire, I pray for whole health. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. So, woman of God, Annie Ruby is uh, saying... All right, Annie, God bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you touch Annie, Father. In the name of Jesus, send your word and touch it from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Meet every need that Annie has, Lord Jesus. I pray for financial miracles, overturn every situation in her life. In Jesus' name, we call it done. Amen. Amen, amen, praise God. My brother from India, uh, Gulingi. I think uh, I, I I cannot pronounce uh, pronounce uh, his name, but uh, pronunciation is very dif dif That's difficult. Okay. No. Uh, but uh, uh, our belief, God is going to bless him. Uh, sister, you can uh, yes. Okay, Father. Oh, so pray for my healing my body. Okay. Yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, his desire is that the Holy Spirit locate him. And I know the Holy Spirit is right there right now. I pray that you touch him right now with your finger of love. Yes. His head to the sole of his feet. I pray for healing for his body. I decree and declare by the authority of Jesus name. I speak in Jesus name. Heal it over his body. We call oh. it done right now. In Jesus. Let you go. Hallelujah. And we call it done. Amen. Amen. 
Jesus name. Amen. So we have uh, another prayer request. Let me display. Let me display. Oh my God. Okay, Ram Kumar Shah. Uh, Shah, Shah. Okay. Mere ko hi job nahi lag lagi hai. Prayer me India se hu. Uh, he's from India, so he want to get a new job. So therefore, you can pray for him. That okay. the, uh, Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Ram Kumar. I pray that you touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Open the door for a job. Lord Jesus, give him the job of his heart's desire. In the name of Jesus, touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Open doors. Yes. Man can close. Keep him in a safety zone. In Jesus' name, we call it done. Amen. 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 Uh, Fozia Slim from Pakistan. Please pray for me and my family. All yes. right. For the uh, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you right now. In the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Lord Jesus, I pray for his family. I'm asking that you move by miracle. Lord Jesus, I pray for victory. Those that oh. are not saved, I'm, I'm praying that they, they accept you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So Mukaddas Mukaddas G uh, from uh, from uh, I think. Uh, oh, I see. Pakistan. So well, he's right. saying, mm -hmm. "Yeah." Mm -hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray right now. I pray, Father, for strength, Lord, concerning this divorce. I pray, Father, that you make him strong in the name of Jesus and trust in you. And for we know that you're the able God and there's no situation that you cannot handle. And I know that you can handle this situation. Heal the heart, Lord, in Jesus' name. We call it done. Amen and amen. amen. Amen, amen. Praise God. Uh, woman of God, you want more prayer request? Well, bring them. I'm very upset. I do not have the answer. I want you to pray to God, the Father, for me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we know that you are the deliverer. And Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, that Rosha, that she trusts you because we know that you are the one that is able to give her the victory. Lord, give her the victory in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I bind the devil on every hand. I pray that you calm her heart, calm her spirit in the name of Jesus and strengthen right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you now. All right. Who is this? This is this the chief. Yeah. My help. Is that his help? It's okay. not. Please. Okay. Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for his help that you touch his body right now. Send your word, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Let your healing virtues saturate his body. In the name of Jesus, be healed by the authority of Jesus' name. For by his stripes you were healed over 2,000 years ago. In Jesus' name, we call it done right now. Lord Jesus, begin to bring strength to that body and restoration. In Jesus' name, we call it done. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. So, uh, Ram Kumar Sa. Okay, my sister ki shadi nahi ho rahi hai. Pray for India se uh, Her her uh, sister want to get married, and especially she asking, please pray for my sister. Uh, then she will get married as soon as possible. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless her sister to get married in the name of Jesus. Bless her with a good husband, somebody that'll work a job that'll be good to her in the name of Jesus. Let him fall in love with her before this year's out. And we claim it in Jesus name. Amen. 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 We will give yes. you the desires of your heart. Oshin Singh. From India, my baby boy. He told oh, me. 
Her baby boy want prayer. A sheen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the baby boy, that you touch this baby boy in the name of Jesus. Keep him safe. Keep your arms of protection around him in the name of Jesus. Keep him in good health, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord Jesus, that he not want for anything. And Lord Jesus, I thank you right now. And we claim it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I don't hear you. Amen. All Amen. right. Pray for me, my family and sisters. Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch Ash in the name of Jesus. Touch her family and, and her sister in the name of Jesus. Touch the family. We pray for victory. We pray for deliverance. We pray for every need. Lord Jesus, overturn every situation. We turn it over to you, Jesus, and we call it done. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Who is this? Okay. Shanti. Please pray for me and my family. Good health. Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch Shanti in the name of Jesus. I pray for her family. I pray for good health. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the pastor. Touch the pastor from the crown of his head. Oh, she's telling us. <laughs> Praise God. That's all right, Pastor Daniel. Lord, touch Pastor Daniel in yeah. the name of Jesus. Lord, bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Love you, woman of God. Really good to have you. Love you, Pastor. God bless you. Let me pray for you. I'm praying for all these people. Let me pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, the man of God is doing a great work around the world. Praise God. Winning many, many, many souls. Hallelujah. And his desire, Father, is to win souls for kingdom's sake. Lord Jesus, I pray that you bless his finances. I, I speak oh, overflow God, in the name God. of Jesus. I see a vision of overflow of finance. God is going to bless Bless you, man of God. The Lord said he have not forgotten you. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. Bless him from the crown of his head to the soul of his oh, oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you never ask much for yourself. But the Lord said, not only will I bless your ministry, but I shall bless thee, son. I shall bless thee and thy going in and in thy coming out said God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. And yea, behold, a new anointing shall rest upon thee for this year, 2021. A new anointing, a double portion anointing to work in my vineyard, even in a greater way, said the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, praise, praise. Yes, yes Jesus. Wonderful day. Wow. Amazing, amazing woman. Yes. Jesus. Thank so, you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Lord. So, wel welcome, you. You, welcome you so much. Uh, so, woman of God, uh, uh, last word, what would you like to say? I just want to say thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. I thank God that he calls our paths to cross. Praise God. And and uh, I'm keeping you in my prayer as well as you continue to do the world world work. This is what the Lord has called us to do. He said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Praise God. And he, he got great blessings waiting just for you. Amen. He's going to bless you in your ministry and and your home. He's going to bless you abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, woman of God, uh, for your time. Uh, your time is really uh, special for us because uh, you spend your uh, valuable time. Love you. Have a blessed day. You as well. God bless you. God bless you.